guess so. Drive through Chaz. Right. I mean, that's the one that seems like you won't just straight up die by something. I won't just fall. Or you just my drive death. directly into a bear's mouth and it just like plays like <laughs> the dumbest like death music ever. Fucking Groose. Steps cut into the stone long ago. <laughs> Twist <laughs> down the rim <laughs> of the tall chasm. In the valley far below, across a shallow running stream, you can find the foot of the rock wall far below the cave. It's a long climb up, but you could sneak inside. Use another path or travel this way. Travel this way. Okay, so. I take it back about the chasm seeming safer. Yeah. <laughs> mm, looks like we're kind of fucked any way we do it. Just the way I like it. Uh, rope bridge? Yeah, let's do rope bridge. Leading to direct to the mouth of the cave, this hiking trail dead ends at a scenic overlook. A rope bridge stretching over the canyon. Your camp keeps guards up there standing watch. They will see you boldly returning home. That sounds great. What about the narrow ledge? Camps, your friends refer to this as the hidden escape route as the back porch. A slow walk across a narrow ridge, ringing around the mountain wall. Oh, it's. I, I thought it was like a real narrow ridge where you'd be like sidestepping the whole time. Oh. Yeah. Mountain gets near there, away from the rope bridge, you will be unseen. Mm. Seems like that's actually the best bet. Watchers like invisible. It, I mean, I'm sure it's out. gonna fuck us somehow. Oh yeah, like some little girl's gonna just come out of the ground and just start like pouring blood into our mouth, and also Captain Crunch. Feet heavy, you shamble off paved pathway, stepping over the dry, rocky ground. You had forgotten the dirt here, swept up between giant slabs of stone. How beautiful its color! Its reddish hue. How peaceful it looks. This <laughs> troublesome journey is ending. You are almost there. You must keep your focus, Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Crossing the back porch, you cradle your aching head, hoping to remember your way through the cave tunnels to your bed. This homecoming is long overdue. Silent Hill homecoming. Yeah, I'm totally gonna ask Stacy to the dance. Yeah. Oh, she's gonna go because I look like Powerline. <laughs> through heavy wire <laughs> bushes, don't scratch it at your skin. You push forward. Climbing over some boulders to get to the ledge. And then you see him up there. Halfway across the back porch, clinging to the rock wall. It's a silly old poo bear. In old friend of yours. <laughs> a midget what? with long sideburns. <laughs> what? Missing front it's little tooth. people, thank you. Yeah, but also <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know this guy. You cannot recall his real name, but he was known as the Science Viking around camp. The Science Viking. <laughs> I'm gonna ask him how I died. What? Cause he, uh, well he sees me and he's like, Oh fuck me, they told me you were dead! <laughs> It's not, you, it's not what he said, that's the gist of it. Yeah, yeah. They said that they, like, just peeled you off of some paper and ate you like a fruit roll-up. Yeah. How? But people aren't fruit roll-ups. So the Viking ages <laughs> along the ledge towards you. Ha! Huh. I knew it was a sick joke, he says, chuckling. They said you and your sister drank the damn water. Nice. He laughs deep and rolling. But his smile soon fades away. The longer he regards you, hell, you are hurt. You need some help? Yes. You look like shit. Well, thanks, mate. <laughs> and where, where is your sister? Was it true? What they said about her drinking the poison water? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, she did. Yeah. You I did? probably did too. What your skull shit. pops hollow. You are oh. breathless, paralyzed by a sudden revelation. Your knees lock. Dizzy, you struggle to keep upright. The truth inevitable and inescapable. Uh, okay. Burning hot, memories uh, bubble up, boiling uh, over the cusp of your mind. Uh, you remember your canteen of water, spiked with quenched. The first sickness you suffered at school, the fever, it's poison spreading. Your totes infected, brother. 
Hey, <laughs> Toad's effect. Hmm. Seat of your mind is deconstructing. Memory trouble. Loss of identity. Everything is slowly slipping away. Your skin itches. Everything that Slayer <laughs> talks about all the time. Oh, yeah. yeah. Awaiting the hour of reprisal. You sca scratch the tiny red splotches, lost in thought. The bald man, bushy eyebrows. He told you about the poisoned canteens, your best friend too. He abandoned both of you at school, an army infected trail behind. How many from the camp knew about this? Your best friend, she is dead. Your fate is fixed. You are doomed. Will you show mercy or seek vengeance? Uh, did you press vengeance? <laughs> Well, you can't in the squin the yeah, yeah. square body. I totally did though. Well, he did though. He did click. He did click vengeance. Well, yeah, I, vengeance. I, I thought you were just being hopeful. <laughs> vengeance. Like, vengeance. Oh yeah, vengeance every time. That's my question: Do you bleed? You stand at the back oh. porch. Its narrow ledge rings around the mountain wall to the cave. Viking. It's short arm scrambling. He catches himself on the wall. Fingers, fingers hooked over the worn rock, he clings onto the narrow ledge and kicks his feet, searching blindly for a foothold. Help me, the midget begs you. Your pulse prick. I'm sorry, just, just that sentence is hilarious. <laughs> Help me, the midget begs you. Just like, the midget begs you. Like, yeah. <laughs> and the thing that's really crazy is like, the fact you tell the science viking, like, I just, I don't care what he's actually wearing, I'm just imagining a horned helmet, big, red braided beard, and then just, like, a, a lab, lab coat, coat. <laughs> and, like, a laser gun or some shit that shoots oh. axes. Yeah. <laughs> it shoots laser axes. It shoots laser axes, and it's just like, this is the silliest shit. Like, wait, so, do I Oh yeah, that's right, him? you did pick up a leather whip. Do I murder him? No. Whip Why would you murder him? Yeah, what do you I don't do? know. He, he's a midget. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we did kill a baby earlier, so I mean, a lot of our, our morals just, just, are a little... Just, just working my way up to killing my probably full-size okay, okay, friends. Okay, every single person we killed, there was some ambiguity to it. <laughs> this is just this like... This is just a, a little person. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, yeah, I let's kill it. Why? You I kill it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's just kill it. <laughs> when a problem Just comes along, you must kill it. <laughs> like there was, like what the? Fuck? There was some utility to killing everyone else. Yeah, like <laughs> like someone was gonna turn, or you had to stop a mercy the kill. baby from like screaming and getting you both eaten. And like this time, it's just like your friends, like, hey, what's up, buddy? Oh yeah, that's what happened to you. Oh, you want to kill him? Uh, sure. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, th thank you for asking. I'd be the slayer of the science Viking. <laughs> it's like you I'd, be kill Norse, him? I'd be a Norse god. <laughs> it's like um, you want to kill him? Do I? <laughs> they called me Ragnarok, the science Viking killer. Throw up in your backpack at your feet. You pull the long leather whip loose <laughs> and toss the lash to the Viking. Clasp <laughs> tight Viking. to its short handle and pulling it like a rope over your shoulder, you help him climb. Clambers up over the edge, rolling across the slope. Thank you, he says, for helping me. And the whip is sexy. <laughs> okay. But next time I we should be on the I knew he was a boner part. this whole time. Oh, the headaches, oh, the flashbacks, just like when I get boners. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the headaches and flashbacks. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Before I go and stumble across some a hidden, hidden fucking beer. Beer. Yeah. <laughs> the Viking farewells. Let me buy your silence. Tell nobody you saw me. Grab whatever you need from my chest. Uh, uh, Twice he repeats the combination me? to the lock and leaves. Wait. Why is everything all fantasy? Like this whole thing is like completely un like not on tone. Wait. What? What the fuck is this? Let me buy your silence. Tell me your. So, so he has like a treasure chest somewhere. He's he's a science Viking, so yeah, I guess. Yeah, like, he got science treasures. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but also the fact that he's acting like a dwarf. Yeah, <laughs> you know what? He's a dwarf because he's a science Viking. I finally get that. Uh, does, it, does it get it? Because like dwarves like build yeah. shit, and they also just look like Vikings. All like, yeah, I get it. Yeah, man. I get it now. Okay. <laughs> the treasure chest of the science Viking. Well, Medicine. Well, Food, did, weapon. We get, did we get the funny ending? Are we getting like what's happening? I, I you remember his semi-automatic. This... It's loaded magazines, all ready to go. What the inside it will be? be yours. <laughs> like I don't know. It's like, like the way home lies before you. 
there's like crazy evil spirits sometimes. There are like like infected like par like uh, not parasite, but like you know like it's, it's like a like zombie virus. story. Yeah, but then it's also and, like then, it, then they're like evil little Satan girls. Yeah, it's it's like a zombie story, a haunting story, an exorcist story, and also like fucking Al also Dungeons and Dragons. dragons yeah. So should I finish this going around the ledge? Like <laughs> Or should I go back everything. and try to cross the rope bridge or climb the, through the gorge? No, dude, go kill your friend. Alright. <laughs> After you chose not to? Yeah, kill him. Well, not him. He, he left. Oh, oh, oh kill, your other friend. Kill a different the rest friend. of my friends. I'll go I'll go get the science Vikings okay. gun, and then I'll just... Your heels up, ambling across the cliff face, and you grapple over the rocks on the wall step by step. Refusing to look down, you and walk. because you're mine, walk. God damn. you walk, walk the line. Around a sharp corner on the rock wall, you step. You step over onto the scenic overlook. You made it. You creep closer to the cra the cave nearby. The guard, the guards at the rope bridge, do not notice you. They look down into the open chasm. Across the uh, sorry, across the long. Okay, so bridge. you would have gotten caught by them if you would have went down the yeah. bridge. Yeah. Or through the gorge. Yeah, through okay. the gorge. So who knows what'll happen now? So you made the right decision then. Well, assuming you want to murder everybody. Well. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> you pause your game of Tetris and never pick it up again. <laughs> because that's how Tetris kind of goes. I did one board. I'm done. You adjust. Years no, you do it to never lose. The low light in these caverns. <laughs> Dusty yeah. bulbs flicker. The electrical wiring crackling. It. Dangling from the walls and snaking along the twisting tunnels. You lurk in the shadows. A chill creeps in, stealing the warmth from your blood. <laughs> you pass through columns of support beams, holding up. Right, ceiling. This is the only way out. Unless you venture down into the open abyss. That's when you just start hearing. Beyond the camp and find another it. exit. Just Nobody ever quick. returns from down there. Knuckles is down there. You just hear Pumpkin Hill, because you're in Pumpkin Hill right now. <laughs> Disoriented, you roam through the maze tunnels. You recognize some twists and turns, but others are unknown. Inexplicable. You are thinking, or you think you know where you are, and where you should go. But you don't know that she. Small party wants to leave this place behind forever. Ah, they're talking about your dick. Anyway, a cold <laughs> drifts past. Ambling into a taller channel you recall the stalactites overhead. Dripping black slush. Gross. So, you are back on your way. Double back. This is the hall of bedrooms. Follow the electrical wiring to the guard there, right there, kind of thing. So, uh, one little suggestion I would have uh -huh. is, uh, like, for all of, for, like, every word you can click on, like, make it slightly a different color, just so we know for sure that that is the word that is clicked on. Oh, it makes the word a different color. Wait, what? The, the, when red, you click on a word, red. it turns red? No, I know, but, like, like, now... Like, have it be slightly brighter or slightly darker, so that, like, all the words. Uh, okay. Go on, Dad. Fuck this shit. You make your way to the Grand Hall inside this arched cavern, branching out in a small spidery tunnel. Don't go to the spider tunnel. God. A nested web of alcoves are furnished with beds and couches. Rooms are separated by thin gossamer curtains. For some time, you have daydreamed of lying down in your own bed again. Grand Hall is open and empty, as quiet as a forgotten cemetery. Once this cavern housed dozens of people, only a handful are left at the camp now. Memories of these lost people haunt this hall. Restless ghosts permeating, uh, yeah, permeating what was once you. Suppose that you yeah. Stomp boys are back these boys are stomping nuts. Mindlessly you shuffle over to the tunnel that leads to your room. You pause at the thin curtain. Your legs have grown stiff, your feet cold. Now that you're here, you feel hesitant to follow through. Compose yourself. Yeah, compose yourself. Because these guys seem like they need to die. Because they're just spiking people's water here. 
Yeah, like a bunch of dudes. It, it doesn't seem like it's just college hazing. I think there's more to it than just that. Yeah, it's like obscure. <laughs> yeah. Where just everybody's like a zombie through like STDs. Yeah. <laughs> So it does kind of seem like they planned for me to die, because, like, there was three of us that went out there. Yeah. And they have already stripped my room. Whoa. Yeah. There under the bed, you notice a corner of a picture frame, face down forgotten. You slide it out, flipping it over, a photograph of you, a young, happy kid before the infection spread, and a moon-faced little girl. Your kid sister, your best friend. Together, surviving as a family, growing up in this tragic world, you blink back tears. You will soon forget it all, kissing... Uh, no, that's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> He's always getting the scrapes. <laughs> Without mercy, you run into the other rooms, searching for your things. You flip over beds, empty the cabinets and drawers, ripping open bags and luggage. Some things may be locked up tight, but you find most of your stuff in the possessions of your sister distributed in every room. As if they drew straws, arranged an auction, divided up all your belongings among themselves. The heartless scavengers did not waste any time. You hate them. They, they do suck. I sure do. I hate them. You like, return to the Grand Hall, leaving the rooms behind you in ruin. They took everything. You intend to collect the debt that they owe one way or the other. They took everything. What a terrible thing to <laughs> Everything, <laughs> right? <laughs> you can go up to the Science Viking now. Into the room of the Science Viking. Fantasy paper bags and graphic novels I line his fucking bookshelves. know it. A heavy fur rug stretched over the stone floor. You kneel before his chest, spinning the lock. Using the combination he gave Actually, you on the back like porch. A, oh, it's, okay, never mind. I thought it was going to be a bomb. It was going to fucking kill you. Vletch opens. You take the semi-automatic rifle, squeezing its grip, your finger hovering over the trigger. You turn it around, staring down the barrel. You smile, and you snap in a loaded magazine, and you switch off the safety, and you exhale. <sighs> Locked and loaded, you turn it around again, staring down the barrel. No, not like this. This is what the Viking would want. You are not finished it. <laughs> <laughs> Not like this! This is what the Viking would have wanted! <laughs> oh shit! You scratch the red spot. What? Skin. You should keep moving. Oh shit! You leave his treasure chest open and return to the Grand Hall. Your trigger finger. This is it. what the Viking would have wanted. He would have wanted to commit suicide. Someone who is known for just wanting to fight. And like die in battle is just like, hey dude, kill yourself. <laughs> so no, that's what he wants me to do. You leave the arched cavern, the place he wants called home. You hold the rifle so tight. Anytime I don't want to do something, I'm gonna say no. That's not what the Viking would have wanted. <laughs> <laughs> the skin over your knuckles splits open. There is no honor among thieves. These people are not your friends. You had been gone in maybe a few days, and already your room has been. You should find each and every one of them. And there is nowhere to hide. You see him. He sees you. You both turn into this narrow bend at the same time. Is that you? He asks, unsure. He was guarding the rope bridge. Outside the cave, you recognize this broad-shouldered man. He is called Worm. His what? voice wavers. What are you doing here? How did... He pauses, biting his lip. He fingers the knife on his belt. Hot. You're in danger. <laughs> he will kill you unless you strike first. You only have a moment. He is within reach. You can smell him. Mm. His natural musk. Delirious, you drink in the heat, seeping out from his warm-blooded body. Daddy taught me how to be ashamed of our dicks. So, yeah. so you're you have a taste for this man now, because you're mm -hmm. I can smell you're, you. You're zombifying. Yep, slowly but surely. Uh, well, obviously, I'm going to shoot him. I just eat him. Fire. Ooh. Squeeze the trigger. Peppered with bullets, Worm's broad frame flies back against the rock wall behind him, limbs flailing, his eyes rolling back into his head. Mm. He slumps over, ejaculated shells bouncing over the stone floor. That was fucking tears. <laughs> he just said the word ejaculated. <laughs> <I just laughs> <left. laughs> 
wiener things. Uh, wieners are hilarious. They are, though. Loud, the yeah. shots echo down the open <laughs> tunnels, pushing the muzzle up and cheek. His nose, you fire off a few more rounds, and his brains blast out the back of his skull. Mm. A pink, pulpy mush. Delicious. Nice. You look over his bullet ridden corpse, your mm. appetite sated. You should okay. go. You keep it. Surrounded, you roam through the maze of tunnels. You recognize some twists and turns, but others are unknown and inexplicable. You think you know where you are and where you should go. Did you go to the generator already? I have not gone to the generator. Did you go to the pantry already? No, I just went to the bedroom. Okay. Make your way to the furnace. Insulated with black electrical tape. The wires are strung along the dark stone wall. Easy to miss. You helped run them years ago to the scorching wide... Subterrain. Subterrain. <laughs> Houses the power generator and is also a wizard. What the... Is this is a bunch of like D and D nerds so survived the zombie wizard and science Viking. Yeah. What the fuck? Is this a reference to the something? Camp like leader. experiments only infected, dead or alive. As you get closer, you can feel a rumbling under your feet and hear a hot steam billows from cracks back on the cave floor. Turbine spins, driving the electrical generator mounted on a utility trailer. You better have a lightsaber fight with this guy in a generator room. <laughs> oh yeah. Convulsing with raw intensity, it rocks against its anchors as you descend into the low chamber. You are sickened by the sweltering heat for 1d4 rounds. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Dead, one of the infected is chained to the wall, naked and dissected, organs in thin tin bowls on a nearby ledge. Oh, radical. They were just, they were just, you know. Famished, you mindlessly scoop up some bright red innards from the bowls, yeah. slurping them off your fingers, smooth and slimy. So yeah, you're damn infected now. Yeah, I'm just like, oh, yeah, sweet. Once you have tasted the flesh this of a man. This is kind of cool because I've never actually heard anything from a perspective of someone who's almost turned. Yeah, yeah. that's like what itchy tasty is like from RE1. Like, oh. like that's them. Ter that's like them doing their journal entries and eventually just turns on them just saying what they feel okay. and they're just saying itchy tape because they're like eating their own skin and just saying that their skin itches and they eat it like that's oh. so that's uh, yeah okay. <laughs> gotcha what with sweat your skin itches yeah, it tastes good hot steam gushes through the floor from the boiling mineral pools beneath losing your focus you sway to the pulse the drumming of the generator Without it, the camp would be shrouded in darkness. Feverish, you yearn to leave. You could sabotage the generator. You could use the sledgehammer in hand, or use the tiny screwdriver, a pair of scissors, a claw hammer, the baseball bat. <laughs> <laughs> Gnashing your teeth, you bludgeon the shaft bearing oh. with the baseball bat, throwing off its balance and rotor position. Berserk, the machine hiccups. God damn it. It's hardware crumbling, grinding apart. You le get back, leap back, twiddle your thumbs, something, 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 rude boy with the gun. <laughs> what? You leap back, <laughs> away from the sudden erupting exhaust, fuming, hot, and violence. You scamper away from the furnace, your heart racing, you fly. Explosions rock and quake the mountain as you retreat back into the tunnels. The lights flicker, dimming. Dimming. The noise stops. Darkness creeps out from the quiet furnace. Up the tunnels branching out from you, the scattered bulbs fade, and the light dies. Blind, you dig in your pockets, you strike a match, and light the wick of your long ivory candle. Or the smoke whirls aloft as the wax warms, softens, and it bleeds. Blood. 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 Pitch, pitch black. black under the mountain. Drift through its caverns, a web of tunnels guided by your white candle. You hear the echo of a whisper. Did we ever deal with Wizard? He wasn't there. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, okay, you, that, you just found a body that was all, like, oh, delicious. Oh, right. Yeah, hacked up zombie. Gotcha. Gonna go down to the kitchen and grab a snack. Make your way to the kitchen, an open shelter with smooth floors and long table. This cavern is where the camp keeps its food. Pantry cells have been getting empty. 
You remember farming here under a well-lit wall, teasing out fresh produce with hydroponics. Uh, Definition. Hydroponics. Make the plants grow loco. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if if someone out there who's like a horticulture like like person, if that's I can't remember if that's the fucking study plants, but somebody who's one of those, like just fucking put that up on your greenhouse, like please put that sign <laughs> in front of your greenhouse. Oh. Let me buy an ounce off you. The passage slopes lower. I'm you go pause for a moment, squeezing the grip on the semi-automatic rifle and breathe. You prowl into the kitchen, under the shroud of darkness, snuffing out your candle for now. You see him. He holds out a cigarette lighter. Bald. Bushy eyebrows. His thin lips twitchy. This is him. The man from the school. Senator Shot your best friend, left you both for dead. Ain't fled in a police car. He is alive on borrowed time, and you are here to collect the debt. He is brains. Your heart is cold. Empty. He waves his lighter about, considering the bulbs burnt out, strung around the room. He is not aware that you are here. You cannot remember his name. Around camp, he is called Corn Dog. <laughs> he should die for what he did, but there are questions. Will the answers matter? Why do they all have silly, stupid names? It's fucking ridiculous. Uh -huh. Like it just breaks all the time. I think we should remain hidden. You slink around in the dust, prowling. <laughs> Anxious, his breathing rapid and frantic. Corn dog cries. <laughs> Who, what, when, where, why, and how? Who that? Who that? Sometimes why? My name Corn yeah. Dog. I'm a delicious corn dog. You keep quiet. <laughs> he cannot see you. You ease about the perimeter of the open shelter, passing by the pantry shelves. You want to reach out from the shadows and throttle him, but you keep back. You find yourself beside the water filtration tank. <clears throat> Can't keep filtered water here. It is safe to drink without risk of infection. Collected from rainfall, dew, condensation, nearby creeks and streams. Boiled and treated, you find the bottle of quenched in your backpack. You can poison them all. Now that'll if you contaminate the water supply, it's gonna get more than just them. Yeah. But you could just kill them individually with your bat. They would all become infected, cursed like you. You cannot bring yourself to do something so malign. If you could, you would have saved the baby at the lake. Well, I, I, I didn't have the choice. I actually you, played the no, other we, way. We the, did, the baby. Yeah, we did save the baby both the things, and you can <clears throat> save that fucking baby. Yeah. Maybe you had no choice, but now you do. You will spare the entire camp from your affliction. You have already murdered one of them. Stay your way from the kitchen, wrestling with your conscience. The hunger is strong. You must leave before somebody else gets hurt. Wander along through the tunnels. Hmm. Pitch black, yada yada yada. Go to the court. Blah, blah, blah. Noise is amplified, uh, even a whisper echoing about the egg shaped ceilings. This camp banded together over the last decade, and established order was needed. Just a few laws in the best interest of the group, like lines are drawn in the sand. No stealing, no lying, no rape, no killing each other. All camp business would be held down there, in that naturally acoustic cavern. Step up into the expansive cavern, snuffing out your candle first. In the dark, you can hear footsteps. Stand in the middle of the arena, as tall and wide as a stadium. You steady your breathing, gripping the rifle. You cannot see him, but wizard speaks, his thundering voice booming over this hollow place. It brings darkness into this camp. Will it suffer for its crimes here? Perhaps. When I am satisfied, it will die. Like, just send her, like, send her. Palpatine is just there. For some yeah. reason. Wow. Like, holy shit. See your Holy shit. Point laser. Oh, shit. But they can't kill you. You're already dead. <laughs> so you look down, you see your red one of those on your chest. If you move, you'll be shot. Oh, yes, I can still see it. Thermal imaging. It's heat signature. I'm not a fool. Squinting, you see the laser blinking back along the tiered wall. It is too dark to see anything up there. The man, the camp leader, has you in his sights. But his finger lingers on the trigger. You remember his penchant to experiment on the infected. A slow and delicate torture. Hmm. Oh, flavor of the law. There's nowhere to go. Your pulse quickens. Drop your rifle, his voice booms. You toss it down at your feet. You face the wizard, hands raised. You dare not speak. Grim, you 
watch as the thin red beam flits about. The wizard cackles, spirited. He is teasing you. He treasures this, prolonging your torment. I would have had so much fun in my laboratory with it. But without any light, how can I study the rate of decay in its brain? Slice it open, testing its reaction to various stimuli? I cannot learn from it, what good is it? Scream out, the shots echo, eternal, amplified throughout the vault chamber. Bullet strip through your ribcage, front to back. Spraying through the exit wound, squirming organs spatter out in a bloody shower onto the wall behind you. Your heart, a sloppy book. A hollow shell, you are dead before your body hits the floor. Okay, so... How should we have done that? No. 